I know, I know. I'm literally just going NFT crazy. Like all I want for Christmas is more NFTs. Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Sarah. You've probably been seeing all of the hype around NFTs. You might be wondering how can I get in on the action? Well, I'm here today to walk you through how to buy your first NFT. Step one, we're gonna have to take some cash from our bank account and convert it to Ethereum on our cryptocurrency account. So I'm gonna be using my BitBuy wallet today. I like to use BitBuy because they have some of the fastest processing times when it comes from taking cash from my bank and getting it on the platform. So if I wanted to buy something in a hurry, BitBuy is probably your best bet. You just have to hit the add funds button, click use e-transfer. All the steps are there for how to get cash from your account into your BitBuy account. So now that we have the cash in our account, it's time to purchase Ethereum. So we're gonna click buy. Enter the amount that you'd like to purchase and click buy Ethereum. Step two, download the MetaMask extension for Chrome. MetaMask is just a Chrome extension. You can just Google it. The first hit that comes up, we'll click that and click add to Chrome. Once the extension is downloaded, it'll be up here in your extension dropdown. We're just gonna click MetaMask and we're gonna have to create a wallet now. So we'll click get started. If you already have an existing wallet, you can import it now, but we're gonna be creating a wallet. We'll click agree. You're gonna have to create a password here. And now time for the secret recovery phrase. Make sure you keep this information safe. I wouldn't recommend screenshotting or saving it to your phone. The next screen is gonna to be to confirm those words. So hopefully you wrote them down in order. Step three, we're gonna to have to take some Ethereum from our BitBuy account and transfer it to our wallet on MetaMask. Your MetaMask wallet has a unique code that you're gonna need in order to withdraw from your BitBuy account. Up here at the top, you can actually copy to clipboard, so we're gonna click that, hop back over to our BitBuy account, and we're gonna need to withdraw Ethereum. You can enter the amount here you'd like to withdraw, paste in your wallet, and click Submit. The timing can vary from how long it takes to get the Ethereum from your BitBuy account into the MetaMask account. Here it took about three minutes. If you have two-factor authentication on, you're gonna have to use the code from your phone in order to get past this step. Step four, time to find the NFT that you'd like to purchase. I'm gonna be using OpenSea.io today. I'm interested in buying a horse from Zed Run. They sell digital horses that you can race on a digital track. I'm heavy into gaming, so it's quite interesting to me. The horse I'd like to buy is called Rogue Child. Sometimes there's gonna be an auction, sometimes you can click buy now. I will note, sort of a disclaimer, for this purchase in particular, I'm gonna to have to do a conversion from Ethereum to Polygon. So when I click buy now, I get the option to sign into my MetaMask wallet. The little prompt will come up, just make sure it's the wallet that matches, and then we're gonna click connect. So normally you would get this checkout screen though, however, when I click confirm checkout, it's going to ask me to convert Ethereum into Polygon. So I'm going to click convert and then we're going to have to wait. So once the conversion is done, you'll see if you click your wallet in the top right corner of OpenSea, you'll see the two different currencies that you have available to purchase NFTs. And now we can finally click buy now and purchase what we'd like. Now that the transaction went through, we get the prompt here that we purchased our first NFT. Yay! Step five, welcome to the NFT club. Time to check out the NFT that you just purchased. You can actually view your collection right from OpenSea.io. We're just gonna go to profile. And if we scroll down, I have two horses here. I spend a lot of time streaming on Twitch, so I think it's pretty cool that I can actually race my horses on a digital racetrack that's actually hosted on Twitch. Mom, let's go. Woohoo! Now you know how to buy NFTs. What are you gonna buy first?